And we're very sure that that piece that we can see is a small bit of what may be an infinite universe beyond. We don't know, actually. The universe is an immense structure made up of countless diverse objects. They are spread so far apart in the vastness of space that even light can get lost in their depths. A photon from the sun takes over four years to reach our nearest star. To traverse intergalactic distances, it can take millions of years, considering that this vast expanse is just a tiny fraction of the scale of the universe. It's truly astonishing. So, what is the true size of the universe? And what exists outside of it? Well, famous physicist Brian Cox recently shared his thoughts and revealed shocking insights. Join us today as we explore how big our universe is and what lies beyond it. There are a lot of things about the universe that, that I find it almost impossible to imagine. Well, actually impossible to imagine. One is just the size and scale of it. I mean, in the piece of the universe we can see, uh, there are something like, you know, roughly, two trillion galaxies. <laughs> we haven't counted them all, but that's a, an estimate based on surveys of the local universe. Two trillion, 2,000 billion galaxies. And each galaxy is, let's say, around the size of the Milky Way. Some are bigger, some are smaller, but the Milky Way has 400 billion stars in it. It takes light over 100,000 years to cross a galaxy and there are two trillion of them in the piece of the universe we can see. And we're very sure that that piece that we can see is a small bit of what may be an infinite universe beyond. We don't know, actually. And I always say, you know, don't get worried about that because nobody can picture it. It is impossible to visualize the scale of the universe. Um, so that's the first thing. <laughs> right. I, could, I could then list a lot of more <laughs> things, but we'll stop there for now. But just the size and scale of it, I think, is beyond imagination. Our solar system is just one of the many planetary systems scattered throughout our galaxy. It consists of a single star in its main sequence stage and eight planets along with their moons. Additionally, our solar system is home to over a million small celestial bodies, such as asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. The farthest known planet in our solar system is Neptune, with an orbital radius of about 30 astronomical units, which is roughly equivalent to four light hours. Remarkably, only a small fraction of the solar system is actually contained within Neptune's orbit. The most distant object discovered in our solar system to date is called Far Out, located 132 astronomical units, or 18 light hours away from the Sun. Even this object, barely visible against the vast darkness of space, is still far from the hypothetical Oort cloud, whose inner boundaries are estimated to be around 2,000 astronomical units from the center of our solar system. Some estimates suggest that the outer boundaries of the Oort cloud extend up to 60,000 astronomical units, which is about one light year. These limits are defined by the Sun's gravitational pull, and beyond that lies interstellar space. As we move further out, we find over 50 different types of stars within 20 light years of the Sun. These stars vary widely, ranging from dim, cold brown dwarfs to bright, well known stars like Sirius, Procyon, and Altair. Some of these stars have their own planetary systems that could potentially support life. For example, Gliese 832c, located 16.1 light years away from the Sun, is more similar to Earth than any other known planet in our solar system. The average temperature on the surface of this exoplanet is about 253 Kelvin, or 20 degrees Celsius below zero, and it completes an orbit around its parent star in just 36 Earth days. In astronomical terms, the distance to Gliese 832c is relatively small. However, a space probe departing from our solar system at the speed of approximately 17 kilometers per second would take around 300,000 years to reach the vicinity of this exoplanet. At our current technological level, it's not feasible to design an interstellar spaceship capable of undertaking such a long journey. Our solar system, along with its neighboring stars, is located in the Orion arm of the Milky Way galaxy, which contains around 400 billion stars and potentially over a trillion different exoplanets. Current estimates suggest that the main diameter of the Milky Way is about 100,000 light years, with a stellar halo possibly extending twice that distance. While the thickness of the main disk is roughly 1,000 light years, there's a distinct bulge at the center of the galaxy that measures about 3,000 light years in thickness. The Milky Way is part of what is known as a local group, 
a large structure that consists of more than 50 galaxies concentrated in an area of space approximately 10 million light-years in diameter. The largest galaxies in this group include the Andromeda Galaxy, the Triangulum Galaxy, and the Milky Way itself. Some estimates indicate that the total mass of this cluster may reach around 3 trillion solar masses, with the Milky Way and Andromeda contributing the majority of that mass. The distance from Earth to Andromeda is about 2.5 million light-years, making it our closest galaxy, excluding small dwarf galaxies. Advancing to a broader scale, the local group is part of the massive Virgo supercluster, which consists of over 30,000 galaxies. This supercluster spans an area of space with a diameter of approximately 150 million light-years and has a total mass that could amount to a quadrillion solar masses, equivalent to about a thousand galaxies like the Milky Way. The supercluster is quite flattened, with around 60% of its components arranged in a flat sheet roughly 10 million light-years thick. While this may seem impressive, it's relatively small compared to the large-scale structure of the universe. As we zoom out even further, we encounter a colossal supercluster of galaxies known as Laniakea, which is approximately 520 million light-years in size. This structure includes several galaxy superclusters, including the Virgo supercluster and the Great Attractor. The total mass of Laniakea is estimated to be around 100 quadrillion solar masses. The Great Attractor, located about 250 million light-years from Earth, acts as a gravitational center for all nearby objects. Astronomical standards cannot be directly observed from Earth, as the Milky Way obstructs our view. This is why the nature of the Great Attractor remains an unsolved mystery today. Laniakea is part of the universe's large-scale structure, which consists of a complex system of galactic filaments, walls, and voids, vast regions of emptiness in space. Some of these structures are incredibly massive. For instance, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall stretches an astonishing 10 billion light-years. Since its discovery in 2013, this superstructure has been regarded as the largest component of the universe's large-scale structure. It's believed to house millions of galaxies, and the total number of stars within it is likely beyond calculation. The very existence of such a structure poses a mystery for science, as current theories of the universe's evolution suggest that massive clusters like this should not form. Remarkably, this wall, which is so immense that the human mind struggles to comprehend its scale, is still just a small fraction of the observable universe. Current cosmological theories indicate that space in the universe is constantly expanding, with the rate of expansion varying based on the distance between objects. The farther away an observed object is from the observer, the faster the two are receding from each other. This rate of separation is not constrained by the speed of light, because it's actually space itself that's expanding. As a result, at some point, the two objects will become mutually unobservable. Observations of relic radiation show that the observable universe has a spherical area with a diameter of roughly 93 billion light-years. According to the theory of relativity, we can only see and interact with objects within this sphere. This conventional spherical area in space is referred to as a metagalaxy, which may encompass all of the universe, or just a small portion of it. Hypothetically, there could be unknown structures beyond the visible limits of space. These structures are known as extra metagalactic objects, and unfortunately, we cannot currently study them using scientific methods. However, some astronomical bodies at the edge of the observable universe seem to be moving in ways that defy our expectations based on existing data. Such anomalous movements may indicate the presence of massive structures beyond the boundaries of the metagalaxy, with a gravitational influence extending into surrounding space and affecting nearby objects. There are numerous theories about the structure of the universe beyond the metagalaxy, though many are metaphysical in nature. For instance, some believe that time and space, as we understand them, do not exist beyond the universe's boundaries. The physical laws we're familiar with also do not apply there, and concepts like matter, material, or energy become nearly meaningless. This theory is expanded upon by the idea that the metagalaxy is just a portion of a more intricate and larger superstructure in space, whose composition and size are beyond our comprehension. Now, it's quite possible that this structure exists in the multidimensional space, or is based on physical principles that we have yet to discover. Consequently, the metagalaxy may be just a trivial addition to or a partial reflection of this astonishing superstructure.
some interpretations of the anthropic principle suggest that there are other worlds beyond the observable universe. In these worlds, the values of fundamental constants, such as the speed of light or the charge of an electron, could be entirely different. This idea aligns with the multiverse concept, which is often illustrated as a foam of bubbles separated by thin, impenetrable walls. Each universe would then be a distinct space with its own physical laws, which might differ significantly from those we know. The most radical theories even argue that our world lacks any objective reality. According to these, the universe is akin to a simulation, similar to advanced virtual reality. Such ideas typically imply the existence of superbeings or civilizations beyond our familiar reality, whose advancement far exceeds ours, and whose goals and capabilities are arcane and incomprehensible. However, it's important to note that confirming or disproving these theories is nearly impossible. Certainly, the vast distances in space challenge our imagination and can be quite daunting. They seem infinite from the perspective of any person today. What we do know is that the universe is expanding, and if this continues, there will come a time when celestial objects will fade beyond the event horizon. First galaxies, then stars will vanish, plunging the universe into eternal darkness. But by that time, no one will be left to witness it. The quest to understand what lies beyond our universe has fascinated philosophers, scientists, and thinkers throughout history. Beyond the observable universe, two prominent theories attempt to explain the nature of existence, the multiverse theory and the brain world scenario. The multiverse theory proposes that our universe is just one of many universes that exist simultaneously in a vast cosmic landscape. This collection of universes is often referred to as the multiverse. Each universe within the multiverse can have different physical laws, constants, and even dimensions. The concept of the multiverse arises from various interpretations of quantum mechanics and cosmological theories. For example, the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics suggests that every quantum event creates a branching of the universe, leading to an ever-increasing number of parallel realities. In this view, each decision or event can spawn alternate versions of reality, allowing for an infinite array of universes coexisting with our own. In addition to quantum mechanics, cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion of space after the Big Bang, contributes to the multiverse theory. Some models of inflation suggest that different regions of space can stop inflating at different times, creating bubble universes within a larger inflationary field. Each bubble can evolve independently, giving rise to distinct physical properties. Some may have familiar characteristics like ours, while others could have entirely different laws of physics, potentially leading to realities that are unrecognizable to us. The implications of the multiverse theory are profound. If true, it could mean that every possibility we can imagine exists in some universe, leading to an infinite number of variations on reality. In one universe, a person might take a different career path, while in another, historical events might unfold differently. The existence of parallel universes raises questions about the nature of choice and fate. If every decision leads to the creation of a new universe, the notion of free will becomes more complex, as every possible outcome plays out across different realities. Critics of the multiverse theory argue that it lacks empirical evidence. The vastness of the multiverse makes it difficult, if not impossible, to test or observe other universes. This limitation raises questions about the scientific validity of the theory. Some skeptics contend that the multiverse is more philosophical than scientific, as it challenges the notion of a single, observable reality. Nevertheless, proponents argue that the multiverse is a natural consequence of well-established theories in physics and offers a framework for explaining certain phenomena that seem puzzling within our universe. Another theory that attempts to explain what exists beyond the universe is the brain world scenario, which arises from string theory. Now, in string theory, the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point-like particles, but rather one-dimensional strings that vibrate at different frequencies. These strings can exist in higher dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. The brain world scenario suggests that our universe is a three-dimensional brain embedded in a higher dimensional space known as the bulk. According to this theory, the bulk contains additional dimensions that are not accessible to us, yet they influence the behavior of our universe. In this higher dimensional framework, other brains may also exist, each representing different universes. 
just as our brain is a distinct entity, other brains could harbor their own unique physical laws and dimensions. The interactions between these brains could lead to phenomena, such as gravity leaking into our universe from the bulk, providing a possible explanation for why gravity is weaker than the other fundamental forces. Now, the brain world scenario has interesting implications for our understanding of cosmology and the origin of the universe. One hypothesis is that the Big Bang was a result of a collision between two brains in the bulk, causing a release of energy that led to the creation of our universe. In this view, the events that unfolded in our universe may be interconnected with the dynamics of other brains, leading to a richer understanding of cosmic evolution. The brain world theory also offers intriguing possibilities for dark matter and dark energy. Some researchers propose that these mysterious components of our universe could actually be manifestations of gravitational interactions with other brains. Now, if this is true, this would mean that dark matter and dark energy are not intrinsic properties of our universe, but rather effects stemming from the presence of other brains in the bulk. This perspective aligns with the idea that our universe is just one piece of a larger cosmic puzzle, where the interactions between brains shape the dynamics of the cosmos. Both the multiverse and brain world theories challenge conventional notions of reality and push the boundaries of our understanding. They invite us to reconsider our place in the cosmos and the nature of existence itself. Yet, these theories also provoke philosophical questions about the nature of knowledge, observation, and the limits of human understanding. If there are indeed multiple universes or higher-dimensional brains, what does that mean for the significance of our own universe? Are we mere observers in an infinite tapestry of realities? Or does our experience hold intrinsic meaning within the vast cosmic framework? Now, as our understanding of physics continues to evolve, so too does our exploration of what lies beyond the observable universe. The pursuit of knowledge in this realm demands a willingness to embrace uncertainty and consider ideas that may seem counterintuitive or even fantastical. It encourages a spirit of inquiry that transcends traditional boundaries and inspires a sense of wonder about the universe's complexities. In contemplating the nature of existence beyond our universe, we must grapple with the limits of human perception. Our senses and instruments are designed to explore a world that is four-dimensional, yet the theories of the multiverse and brain worlds suggest a reality that may encompass dimensions we cannot directly observe. This limitation raises intriguing questions about the nature of knowledge and the role of human inquiry. Can we truly understand a reality that exists beyond our perception? Are our scientific endeavors merely attempts to comprehend a fraction of a far grander tapestry? The interplay between science and philosophy becomes particularly relevant in discussions of what exists outside the universe. Theories such as the multiverse and brain worlds challenge our conventional understanding of reality and force us to confront the limits of our comprehension. In this pursuit, we find ourselves at the intersection of science, philosophy, and existential inquiry, seeking to unravel the mysteries of existence itself. Ultimately, while the multiverse theory and the brain world scenario offer compelling frameworks for understanding what exists beyond the universe, they also illuminate the profound mysteries that remain unsolved. The cosmos is a vast and enigmatic tapestry, woven together by forces and phenomena that challenge our understanding. As we continue to explore the frontiers of knowledge, we are reminded of the beauty and complexity of the universe, as well as our place within it. As our scientific endeavors progress, it becomes increasingly clear that the universe may be far more intricate than we can possibly imagine. The multiverse and brain world theories serve as powerful reminders that our understanding of existence is still in its infancy. Each new discovery propels us deeper into the unknown, sparking curiosity and wonder about the cosmos. So, the pursuit of knowledge about what lies beyond the universe is a journey that transcends the boundaries of science. It invites us to contemplate our existence, question the nature of reality, and embrace the mysteries that lie just beyond our reach. As we explore the depths of the universe and the possibilities that lie beyond, we embark on a quest that connects us to the cosmos and to each other, reminding us of the shared human experience in the face of the infinite. Thank you for joining us today. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below and subscribe for more content like this.